Well, thank you, Mr. Ambassador, and happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone <laughs> gathered here. I'm, I'm looking at the screen to see all of the faces of our young leaders. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Um, and Taishuk, we, 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 Taishuk, we spent the morning together um, talking about the, the challenges and the hope that we share, um, knowing what is possible when we are committed to democracy, when we are committed, committed to fairness, to equality. And, um, and I really enjoyed our conversation this morning. And Tishak, I thank you for that. It was really an honor to meet with you today to discuss our friendship and the friendship of our two countries, our shared values, and our shared commitment to helping people worldwide reach their full potential. And I know it is in that spirit that Ireland's Department of Foreign Affairs is co-sponsoring this year's Frederick Douglass Global Fellows. On behalf of the United States, thank you. So this fellowship program, led by the Council on International Educational Exchange, gives students in the United States, students of color, the opportunity to study abroad. Ms. Nettie Washington Douglas, who is here with us today, has supported this program since its inception. I'm sure she'd agree, given her great-great-grandfather's time in Ireland, that this year's fellowship program is very special. Frederick Douglass, the great American statesman, traveled to Ireland, as the Teachuck said, over 175 years ago. He traveled to Ireland to avoid being recaptured into slavery. So he was seeking safety and refuge. And there he crossed paths with the Irish abolitionist, Daniel O'Connell. And for the first time, Frederick Douglass felt truly free. In his own words, in Ireland, he was not treated as a color, but as a man. I have this sculpture of Frederick Douglass on loan from the Howard University Gallery of Art that reminds me of who he was and what he stood for. Many of you know that. Like a few of this year's fellows, I attended Howard University, a school that was founded at a time when few recognized the potential of black students to be leaders. At HBCUs, in fellowship programs like this, students of color are prepared to lead, like Frederick Douglass in Ireland. You can come as you are, and you can leave who you aspire to be. So to the fellows here today, congratulations. Your nation is so proud of you. You will travel, you will create friendships around the globe as an extension of the work that we do as a country to inspire and to work on and to build on the friendships we have around the world. And hopefully when you're in Ireland this summer, walking in the footsteps of that great American, Frederick Douglass, remember that you are great. You not only have the capacity to be great, you are great and you are walking in great footsteps. He imagined, I'm sure, in those days when he was in Ireland, that you would be coming behind him. So I'm counting on all of you to live up to that potential. And again, to the Taoiseach and the Irish people, thank you for sponsoring this fellowship and supporting these students. Together, may we build on the legacies of Frederick Douglass and Daniel O'Connell and John Lewis and John Hume, and all of those who have fought for freedom. Thank you all.